on today's episode of Spells, you'll need a deck of cards and a coin. Get ready to have some fun. Hey everyone. Hello. Welcome to Spells. Yes, that's Spells with a Z. I guess our writers never learned to spell. Luckily for us, this spell has nothing to do with spelling and everything to do with magic. Which, as everyone knows, is way more fun. I'm Jay Sankey. And I'm Bridget Hall. And on today's show, we're gonna teach you how to perform some very cool and easy to do magic tricks. All you'll need is a little practice, some props you'll find around the house, and knowing how to say really cool magic words like, um, abracadabra. But before we start, Jay, I have a surprise for you. Pizza. Pizza, I love pizza. I know, I hid it in that closet. There's mushrooms, green pepper, pepperoni, and oh, Bridget, careful, that's not, a, that's not, a, it's a magician's assistance box. It makes people vanish. Uh-oh. With this thing, she could be anywhere. Hmm? <laughs> hmm. Hey! Oh, what what happened to the pizza? Sorry, this is the last slice. I was kind of hungry. Maybe you couldn't make it magically reappear? It's the one trick I don't know how to do. But for now, let's make some magic. Here's something every magician should be able to do. Bridge, do you have a million dollars? I mean, a quarter. <laughs> just, just, just a quarter would be great. Can I borrow sure. a quarter? Sure. Okay, thank you so much. Here you go. Beautiful. Um, I think what I'll do is since it's not my money, I may as well make it vanish. That was cool, but can I have my quarterback? Nope. Here is how you do it. You're using a very, very old slight or tricky move uh, called a French drop. Uh, and any reason why it's called the French drop? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, no, no, not that I know of. French, okay. there's wacky names on the, on the moves here. It's called a French drop, and let's say you've borrowed a coin, say a quarter. Uh, does it have to be a quarter, or can it be a penny? Well, if you borrow a quarter rather than a penny, when you run away with the money, you've made 24 more... No, no, the, uh, <laughs> it's better if it's a bigger coin. If it's a bigger okay. coin, like, because first, it's easier to hold. Mm -hmm. Second, uh, they'll be able to see it better because it's big. I mean, the light bounces, they can see it better. Uh, a penny okay. gets pretty small, okay? Yeah, okay. So, you borrow a quarter, you hold it here. You can see on the fingers and the thumb. And all I'm going to do is, as I come over to pretend to take the coin, I'm just going to let the coin fall into my hand. Look again. I just move my thumb, okay? The one in my okay. left, this hand. If you move the thumb, it does nothing over here, okay? <laughs> so this one here, you come over, you just lift it, and you take it away, okay? And it's in your okay. hand. And the left hand can fall to the table. Casually, you can uh, kind of fall to your side, mm -hmm. but you keep your focus here, okay? Right. So you're here, okay. you keep the focus here, and you go, I'm gonna make it vanish. Boom. Hey, Jay. Hey, whoa. Oh. <laughs> Have you ever been to Alexandria? I'm thinking the answer is no, seeing as I don't even know where Alexandria is. Alexandria is a seaport in Egypt. Thanks for clearing that up. And no, I've never been there. Well, here's a bit of tricky history about a magician who apparently made the entire seaport of Alexandria disappear. This spectacular trick was done by a magician named Jasper Maskelyne. During World War II, the British Army came up with a plan so amazing that their enemies would not be able to believe their eyes. Maskelyne put together a group of 14 assistants, including a builder, scientist, and an electrician to help him. They were called the Magic Gang. You see, some people were worried that the port of Alexandria might be attacked by the enemy. So, legend has it, Maskelyne made the whole port disappear. What he actually did was set up a fake port in Marriott Bay. He and the Magic Gang and many, many soldiers constructed fake buildings, a fake lighthouse, fake ships. They basically designed a fake port city of Alexandria in Marriott Bay. 
and they finish just in time. Two nights later, enemy planes headed towards Alexandria. As soon as Maskelyne found out the planes were coming, he switched off a light, which plunged Alexandria into darkness and at the same moment turned on all the lights at Marriott Bay. The planes flying above thought it was Alexandria and attacked. It was just Marriott Bay with fake boats, a fake harbor, and a fake lighthouse. That's a pretty amazing trick. Have you ever made anything that big disappear? No, but I did once make a triple layer chocolate fudge cheesecake vanish. <laughs> Here's something that a very good magician can do with one card. I'm gonna do it with two. Look out. Mm -hmm. okay. Two cards here. Two playing cards, watch. Five and a three. The five of hearts about there, the three of clubs about there. Both going to the middle, watch. Five of hearts, three of clubs. Five of hearts. Nice. Here's how you do it. I'm using a red five and a black three. I'm also using the other red five and the other black three, okay? Okay. I've got a five of hearts and a three of clubs on top and bottom. So let's say on top we've got the three of clubs and on the bottom we have the five of hearts. Then I have the other pair, the five of diamonds and the three of spades on top of the deck. Okay. And I turn over the cards and you don't want to let them see them one by one. Instead, you put them out in like a little fan and you say, well, so we, we'll use these cards. And you mentioned it's a red five and a black three. Mm -hmm. And as you put them in, this is when you do something called miscalling, which is you say them, but you actually say them incorrectly. And here's where I say, we'll put the five of clubs in here and the three of hearts in there. Now, okay. nobody remembers what the cards are because you show them so quickly. So I'm literally naming the ones on top and bottom. Right. I square them in, it looks so fair. Mm -hmm. And now I put my fingers on the bottom, my thumb on top. And if you throw the cards and squeeze a little bit of pressure with the thumb and finger, the top and bottom cards will <whistles> stick to your hands. It looks fancy, but it's very easy. And then when you turn them over and lo and behold, the ones you've been mentioning all along, the three of clubs and the five of hearts are right there. It looks like real magic. Run right out and buy a tuxedo. I'm kidding. When it comes to magic, you can wear whatever suits your style. That's the great thing about it. Anything you want that you're comfortable in, that you can put a few props in, that's your magic uniform. I'm sorry about eating all that pizza. You should be. <laughs> but it was so good. It was probably the best pizza I've ever had. Let's just change the subject, okay? Okay. Hey, you know how in the Harry Potter books, Harry has that invisibility cloak? Yeah, but stuff like that only happens in books and movies. Maybe not. A Japanese inventor by the name of Professor Susumu Tachi of the University of Tokyo has made a coat that you can see through, kind of like Harry Potter's invisibility cloak. <laughs> Holy Hogwarts. The Japanese scientist hopes one day he'll be able to make people completely see-through. This should help people like surgeons who would like to be able to see through their hands when they are operating. I wonder what a, an invisibility cloak looks like. Oh. Psst, come here, come here, come here, come here. I'm gonna show you something I've never shown anyone else. Look, 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 look. Inside, look, 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 look. Now, I know it looks empty, right, but it's not. There's a dehydrated deck of cards in there. Dehydrated means it's all dried up, shriveled, teeny tiny weeny. You can't see, it's in, it, it. You don't believe me. You don't, look, I'll prove it to you. I need a little bit of moisture, just a bit of moisture here. If I take the moisture and I just put a little drop there, you don't want to overdo it, just a little drop of water inside. Listen, listen, it's growing, it's getting bigger, there. I bet, I bet, I bet, yep, just like that, look. The deck 
of cards is totally the right size. There's gotta be some way I can make a pizza appear in this box. Pizza Cadabra. I know the magic words you need to say to make a pizza appear. Hi, could I please order a large combo? Great, see you soon. It's done. Thanks, Bridget, and thank you for watching. See you next time on Spells. Today I'm going to present the disappearing salt trick. As you can see, I have normal salt and a normal cloth. Abracadabra!